Hi, welcome to Musical Live North Shore, your in-home live concert cable TV show. I'm your host, Paul Norman. Our show tries to bring to you the best North Shore musicians into your home for a live concert experience. We're lucky to be joined tonight by 25 Pearl. They have a great way of blending folk, indie, rock, and psychedelic music into fabulous melodies with alluring hooks. You're going to really enjoy this performance by 25 Pearl. Take it away. Sure sounds funny, but I ain't joking. Them a woman went off with a friend. Took all my children, the clothes off my back, and left me with all of her death. I got to thinking that this isn't fair, so I called a little attorney in law. He said to me, boy, because you're a man, gonna cost you 10,000 more, yeah. To a judge, try to plead my case And my woman went off with my kids She wants all this money That I ain't good What kind of world is this? I want my kids and I want some money It's the 21st century This isn't fair Because I'm a man Hope you will listen to me Then it said the sun don't shine When you're living inside When the bars in front with no window behind The sun don't shine when you're living inside Bars in front the window behind it said a dee 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 can't you see? Dee 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 it's a mystery. Dee 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 can't you see? Dee 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 it's a mystery. Judge looked up without a smile, he began to lecture to me. It don't matter because you're a man and that's the way it should be. The law was written by founding fathers and who can change his read? Sit back down, or send you to jail through the 22nd century. Then I said, The sun don't shine when you're living inside, when the bars in front with no window behind. The sun don't shine when you're living inside, bars in front, no window behind. You said, Dee 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 dee, can't you see? Dee 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 dee, it's a mystery. Dee 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 dee, can't you see? Dee 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 dee, it's a mystery. Send you to jail to the 22nd century. So you just heard a great performance of Tom Petty, the song, not the band, the song by 25 Pearl. And as you can tell, we're going to hear a lot more great music from this band. And um, I'd like to hear a little bit about how this song came to be, what uh, was going through the band's mind as they were writing this song. Um, Scott, do you think you're best positioned to talk a little bit about the history of this song? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, I got divorced some years ago. And if you're a man in Massachusetts or maybe United States, you already get your back against the wall. Uh, and that's really what's about, you know, the first thing my lawyer told me is like, you know, unless unless your wife is in jail or killed somebody, you're already screwed, basically. <laughs> and, and, and I fought and I fought. I mean, I had kids and, you know, but it was unfair. It was just unfair. You know, I mean, it's backwards, backwards in this Massachusetts judicial system when it comes to people getting divorced. They think the males can't take care of kids. They don't, they think they can't do anything, but it's just the opposite. It's just the opposite. They don't care. It really, they don't care at all. And these judges, they just sit down. They didn't want to hear it. They do not want to hear it. They're old and they're cranky. And they really <laughs> get me aggravated. Well, I thought this was going to be a petty issue. Well, oh. and, and it definitely, I mean, this is heavy. Waka, waka. I just thought it sounded like a Tom Petty song. You know, okay. that's what I thought. You know, whatever. You know, this, I, I could call it Judges Suck. I mean, I don't know, you know. <laughs> but that's it. I mean, 
for all those people getting divorced out there, if you're a guy, just fight for your rights. That's all I have to say because you get your back against the wall, but don't listen to them. So it's a guy anthem is what you're telling us. I guy guess anthem. so, you go. know. Guy anthem. Yeah. All right, go guys. Yeah, go guys. that's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, it's tough for everybody, but you got to be strong yep. and uh, look out for your best interest and do the best by your family and your kids. So go guys. Exactly. Go guys. That's it. All right. Yep. Thank you. Whistle 
turn on the news and all you see are guns And I'm afraid they're gonna shoot at me A crazy world that we live in On the set of the performance by 25 Pearl, you just heard them play In the Night, one of the songs I really found to be a great tune. And I always like to hear a little bit about how that great tune came to be. So, um, Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, how you came up with that song, what was going on uh, in your life when you came up with it. Uh, tell us about uh, composing that song. Yeah, all right. Well, that one, um, you know, basically I think anybody can relate to it. Uh, turning on the news, uh, seeing all the death, destruction, war, uh, you know, nothing good. You know, I, re I remember maybe 20 years ago actually seeing good news on one of the stations, and then all of a sudden, nothing but bad news. And, you know, and you're afraid every night. You don't know if someone's going to break into your house, going to shoot you when you're walking down the streets. I think everybody's had enough. So is there a hopeful message in there that things are going to get better? Yeah, let's like, hope uh, so. We, we like going down the tubes. Yeah, I mean, that. don't watch the news. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. That was the message. Yeah. I mean, it's a good message. Yeah. It's a good message. I mean, it's not enough. Turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah, it has, uh, we've certainly been through a lot, and I agree with you. It seems like it's getting worse. Now, how long ago did you write that song? Uh, about 15 years ago. All right, so we've been on a we've been on a rapid descent uh, for the past three years. It's even worse. Even worse. Yeah. He was ahead of the curve. Yeah, on this. yeah exactly. <laughs> a trendsetter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Well, we uh, really enjoyed that one, and we'll uh, now I'm going to have all these nice thoughts when I hear it again. <laughs> I hope so. Right. The thing about Scott's songs is that he he does write them about what's going on around him or what's going on around his life. So. Uh -huh. There's always some way to relate as a relation to something that someone's going through. Maybe not you particularly, but someone listening to the song is going to feel like, oh, I can kind of resonate with that. So well, That's cool. I mean, that's the important cool. thing. Yeah. So, all right, great. Thank you.
Number 25, Pearl. The song's called Highway 64. The highway for the open road. Never let them say that there's an end. He owns a knife, but he don't feel like getting wet. So he's driving on Highway 64. Love, it's the Town. It feels the earth come down 
We're here with 25 Pearl, where we just heard a great song that they played, uh, Early Train. Uh, you may have seen this on uh, the streaming services or heard it before. Uh, Scott wrote this song as well, and um, I'd love to hear about what influenced you, what was going on uh, in your life at that time. Uh, well, this one's kind of funny. Well, not funny, but it's funny. Um, for that one, you know, I watched a lot of serial killer shows. For some reason, I like them. All right, I like them. I like watching the shows. I don't like serial killers, but I like the shows. Okay, this is so a guy that doesn't like to watch the news. Is that, is, yeah, yeah I don't guy, get it. I, I don't want the news, uplifting but I watch about killing people, right? Oh, but okay. you know, I just you know, want, I just want to make sure I understand. I got this right. They're on the TV. I know. All right, I don't know right. what, what else to watch, else? right? Okay. Um, but you know, so I watched that, but and I just wrote this song. And it was actually about a serial killer, and I was nervous. I said, okay, I wrote this about a serial killer. People are gonna think I'm a serial killer. So I asked my wife, I'm like. Is it okay if I actually write this song and people can think, you know, I'm a killer? It's like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, I guess it's okay. So, it's okay. <laughs> and that's it. We wrote it like that. that. That's it. It's about a serial killer and what they do and how sick they are. <laughs> so, have you had any uh, feedback from people who've listened to the song about, you know, thanks for the great ideas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I found it worked really well out in uh, the desert. You know, they all not say yet. Up, they say it's such an uplifting song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uplifting I just like message, all of those the things. The best thing about the end, of, he offs himself at the end, so that's the point, you know? I mean, get rid of him. I just that's like it. the chords. Okay. Yeah. The chords are good. Yeah. Okay, so you like the chords. <laughs> I figured the guitar good player is What's the meaning of the song? Yeah, if you're like, gotta, it's about a serial killer, it'll be like, oh. Cool. Uh, yeah, that was a good solo. I did enjoy that oh, solo. Nice little solo. Oh. Good. Lighten it up a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, I hit out of the park on that one. No, well. Okay. He said he threw me the softball. I oh, did? I don't know. Okay. Maybe All it was right. a knuckleball. Well, that's cool. Um, so, we're going to talk a little bit later about um, you know, some of the bands that have influenced you, but now I know it's like the news, killings. Uh, it's, <laughs> This is this is really pretty interesting, but I, the songs are so yeah get into them really quickly. So I don't know, maybe it's me who's like at that dark side too. Everybody has that dark side. Okay, all right, all right. That's They're just it. not letting it out all the way. Here. Yeah, right. I'm, get, I'm getting the feeling. All right, thanks a lot, Scott. You're welcome. Working so hard every day Nothing is going my way Resting my head down at night Hoping it will be alright Everybody sings, everybody laughs, everybody talks about it I see signs This one will save you this time How do we know what to believe When it's the same old thing Everybody laughs, everybody sings, everybody talks about it Everybody spits, everybody splits the thoughts of
I always find it fascinating to hear about how great music is created, how these bands were formed, who influenced their writing style, because the, the final product is amazing. And uh, so I wanted to speak with the band tonight about uh, how the band was formed and what groups or artists had a significant impact on its style uh, or your own individual musicianship. Um, John, maybe you could tell us a little bit about sort of sort of band history, how this uh, how this uh, great band came to be. <laughs> hmm. Well, we came to be through uh, many years of well, we used to hang out together, me and Scott, many years ago, thirty years ago ish, and we would hang out, listen to music, and we would just talk. We're gonna start a band, man, and we did. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was an older band, but it kind of morphed into what we are now, ultimately. And, we have all sorts of different styles, but I think we all dig the same music generally. So you know? where'd you guys meet? Was this uh, in, in the area? In this area? Or? High school. Yeah. High school. Okay. That goes, so it goes back goes to back high school. Goes back that far. Yeah. Goes back that far. And you're still friends. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, well, I wouldn't say that. Years. My mother went out with his father I hate for a little this bit. Guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Freaking. Somehow we're. Still, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're still great friends, so yeah. we can hang out. And we we have fun together. It's uh -huh. like we enjoy it. It's not just like. Oh, I gotta go hang out with this. You know? Yeah, I've always loved it. Yeah. So, do you actually start playing together uh, when you're in high school? High or, school. So, so now, now yeah, after yep. high school. I was playing guitar, and Scott was writing poetry, and I'd be like, Scott, you gotta, you gotta like put that into a song, because I can't write songs very well, like especially like lyrics. And I was like. Scott, you need to do this. So you started writing poetry before you got into music? Or yeah, the same I, I time? wrote poetry first, yeah. Okay. You know, and then, you know, I just figured out how to sing eventually. And then learned the guitar, don't forget. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, then learned the guitar because I had to at some point, you know. Yeah, exactly. First I just sang, but then I had to play guitar, so then I learned that. I think you were playing piano a little bit. Yeah, right? maybe piano. Yeah. Zippy okay. Zither. Zippy right. Zither. Yes. And we knew Ernie, too, from high school. I mean, yeah. he oh, was... Yeah, we were in the same place. Yeah, I mean... Oh, really? Yeah. 
Yeah, and I used to hang out with these guys in their old band. So they brought I, you they brought you in. Yeah, I just what? started playing drums for fun, and then over the time, just hanging out with them in their rehearsal space, it kind of like learn some of their old songs, and yeah. then we started just to jam together. So what so, are some of the influences that uh, you kind of brought to the table? I, I, I'm, I'm a huge, uh, I'm a big Dave Matthews fan. I'm a fan of uh, The Police, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh -huh. Funkadelics, you know, uh -huh. uh, I, you know, George Clinton, those types of, so yeah. I'm, I'm a huge fusion, funk, jazz type of person, so a song like Get Away kind of has a little bit of, uh, kind of got a little bit of Get Away, that's a great so, song. Um, it, it definitely, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good mix of all our influences and then I and then you dragged him in. Yeah. And, he, and he was from high school but you finally <laughs> yeah, let we him had in? Another high no school. I was no, not high no. school so oh, Ernie okay. Ernie answered an ad for our, my other band um, the band bef that was in before this one and uh, so he yeah he came in we played in that band probably for about a year year and a half and then um, we split up and he hit me up maybe like a year later and said hey I'm, I'm back with these other guys that I jammed with before do you want to come and play so I was supposed to come in to play rhythm guitar, and then uh, oh, wow. the day I showed up, the bass player um, quit. So he, they said, "Bill, you're playing bass." So, <laughs> oh wow! So that's Bill. that's the you Bill. Go. Here you go. Bass. Here you go. All so, right. Yeah, so, so that's how that's so how it all Bill started. learned the bass. Yeah. Yeah. With us. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's where this dancing thing comes from. He was dancing from the beginning because all of a sudden you put him on the spot. He was. Yep. Well, uh, yeah, you know, awesome. you gotta, get, gotta get those grooves going, right? Absolutely. That's the idea. So. Okay. All right. To my left. This is Bill. Behind me, this is Ernie. To my right, this is John. And I'm Scott. And this is, and wait, this is Open Days, and we are 25 Pearl. That's who we are, 25 Pearl.
This one's called Been Too Long. I think they wanted you to say it's a love song. And it's a love song. I wrote this song to be alone with you. I write these words so I can keep from feeling blue. It's been too long since I have seen you, girl. I wonder if you are thinking of me too. In the morning when the sun goes down, I think of you. I hold you close to my heart And even though I know I'll never be with you I'm gonna try to keep on moving on You're gone, I don't feel like carrying on Though in my heart, I know we'll meet again Someone tell me, what am I supposed to do? Take me home and hold me close, don't let me go I won't let you die This is your song I hope you enjoyed this latest show of music alive North Shore as much as I did. As you can tell, the North Shore is filled with great performers, and we've been very lucky to have the ability to bring some of those right into your home for a live concert experience. Make sure you get out and uh, try to see these bands. Go to their websites, uh, Facebook, Spotify. Um, 25 Pearl is on all the streaming services. You can find these guys. You want to listen to more of their music. Get out and make sure that you tune in because you're going to enjoy it. So thanks again. I'm Paul Norman. Until we get together again, go out and hear some live music. Oh, you left up in an early grave, another casualty of news and lies.